Larotawa Urban Villa. The first owners of the place known as Arautawa settled here a few days after the conclusion of the conquest of Tenerife. It is this corner of the valley that was later given the name of Orotawa. The territory in question had belonged since ancient times to the king of the Taoro, a title which at the time of appropriation boasted Bencomo. The fertile land, which also had an abundant water supply, made it possible to implement the sugarcane agriculture, which production was destined for exportation. Large economic benefits were obtained from the first sugar mills, which were used in part to cover costs of civil construction. The architecture was understood as the echo of a dazzling progress, and what had once been scarcely a place, once paid for, became in the early modern age a village. A historic village which in 1648 managed to become an exempt town, that is to say, an independent municipality. The achievements of its people were not slow to bear fruit, succeeding in the urban definition of a town, enjoying cordon off streets to which were added more style buildings that complemented the church and convents. The city became the framework of history, in the context of an everyday life marked by the work of artists and craftsmen who played a unique role, quite literally using their hands to shape the city by developing the barren places not being used by agriculture. The prosperity of the town is reflected through its buildings, its unique architecture that bears witness to different historical events that in turn interpret the artistic currents of foreign origin in combination with the traditional Moorish style that ever remains quintessential. Hence the coexistence of Gothic and Renaissance buildings, typical of the first Baroque and Moorish settlers, within an extremely compact single urban centre which transports us to the days of social maturity. Neoclassicism and Romanticism, as the air echoes of the 19th century reformers or modernists as a synonym of contemporary progress. The combination of economy and society has been running smoothly in a good-natured environment which has led to the maintenance of a legacy that is extremely rich in heritage not only for its abundance of events but also for their excellent quality.